Cincinnati. Coach, what was it like after last year's disappointment to see your name pop up as a, as a regional host this time? Very exciting. You know, I mean, it's uh, it's really a, a exciting time for our program. You know, we're we're three years in existence and. Um, have the opportunity to host a regional. Just so proud of our team, our, our coaching staff, our support staff. It's a huge honor to host a regional, to be one of 16 teams in the country, um, and to be able to showcase our, our wonderful facility, our great fans, and uh, just what we've built here. Coach, I know uh, several years ago you said all you had right now is dirt and, and a ball. That's all you had. <laughs> now here you are getting to host a regional. Did you think it happened this fast, that you guys would be right here in this position now? You know, honestly, you couldn't predict, and and you know, certainly our goal was to shock the world when we started this program, and I, I'm sure some of our players have talked about that in the recruiting process. And um, you know, we had a dream and we had a vision, and uh, we worked very hard to get to where we're at. You know, there's there's been a lot of uh, a lot of effort put into this program, not only from the players and the coaches, but from our administration, the president, the athletic director. Everybody that's been involved in, in our athletic department has, has been a part of this, this program and our growth. So, um, but certainly we had a vision and you know, if, if, you, if you dream it, you know, sometimes it comes true. And, and uh, you know, that was our, our dream to start was to, to be competitive you know, right away. And, and uh, you know, obviously had no idea that success would come this quick or you know, to be this successful you know, in our third year of existence. But that's a tribute to our players. You know, they believed and they put in the hard work and the effort to, uh, to get to this position. I went back and looked today. I think it was 2012, the last time that you had coached a team that, that hosted a regional. Mm -hmm. You went to the College World Series that year. How special is this for you? It's a big gap and, and you've had some changes along the way. Mm -hmm. How special is this for you? It's, re it's really special, you know. It's, um, you know, anytime you coach, for as long as I've coached, you don't take anything for granted. Um, I've been a, a part of those selection shows for a number of years, and <laughs> you can't predict it, you know, and, right. and certainly everybody has their own bracketology, and um, I'm just very blessed to be a Clemson and be the head coach here, and, and uh, I don't take that lightly. I mean, it's a huge responsibility, and I pinch myself every time I, I come in through those doors and, and get to coach this team. How, how much did, is last year's experience going to help even though you're at home now, how's that going to help that you guys played in some big games last year in this tournament? It's it's going to be a huge benefit. You know, last year we were wide-eyed and you know bushy-tailed going into Alabama and um, certainly really excited and and really playing with nothing to lose mentality the entire year. You mm -hmm. know, and and this year's been a little different. You know, we've have we have expectations. We have kind of a target on our back and. We're not sneaking up on anybody anymore, and um, that's been a difference. And it, it took us a while this year with the strength of our schedule uh, to adapt. Um, you know, we, we, we had some bumps in the road this year, and, and like I mentioned, we played a really difficult schedule, but it's going to prepare us for postseason. And, uh, you know, just last weekend at the ACC tournament, just to get to the championship game, we had to play Notre Dame, Virginia Tech, and then Florida State in the championship game. So that experience alone is going to hopefully pay benefits for us in this tournament. Besides Coach Brian L. coaching at UNC Wilmington, what else do you know about him? <laughs> Not much, you know. Um, I was watching the scores yesterday, so I know they won their conference tournament, and uh, you know certainly our homework will start tonight. And um, I think our coaches are already looking up team stats and, and getting information and scouting reports. But um, you know that's the one thing about this tournament you can't overlook anybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know it's real easy as a one seed to overlook a four seed that first game, but we're going to take uh, UNC Wilmington very seriously and and we'll be prepared. Can you tell your team because of that schedule, because you've played the number two, the number three seed, you've played all these great teams, we will see nothing no matter how far we make it that we hadn't seen before. And that's what I told them after the selection yeah. show. You know, we had a little get together and talked about the plan for this week. And, and I told them, listen, the game doesn't know who's supposed to win, you know. But we know that we prepared ourselves for this moment. You know, we have all the experience from last year. We've played a tough schedule this year. Um, we've been in huge games, we've been on national TV, um, we've played in front of huge crowds both at home and on the road, so right. it's really about us executing, us worrying about you know, what we do well, sticking to our game plan, and, and for us individually you know, to be ready to play. How happy were you for your team just to see the looks on their face and to know they're going to be hosting a region on how hard they work to get to this point? It's huge. You know, one of our main objectives this year was to go farther than last year. 
and uh, to be able to host a regional is, is pretty special. And, and like I said, in our third year of existence, but to see their excitement, to see the joy in their faces, and to see their hard work, you know, pay off has been huge.